something happening in my ear. Hello and welcome to JasonNewland.com. This is Deep Sleep Whisper. Please, please, please only listen to this or if you're watching on YouTube only watch it when you can safely close your eyes. I know that that sounds very obvious but it's just really important I know that not everybody will be listening to this whilst in bed. Not everybody will be listening to this to go to sleep. Some people will be listening to this just to relax. Just to maybe take a little bit of time out of the day. Just to calm down. And that's perfectly fine and I'm happy that you gain whatever benefits that are possible but please only listen or watch when you can safely close your eyes for your safety I know I say that at the beginning of every single session but it's important another important thing is please just from my personal perspective if you like what I do please share it tell others share it on your social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram I don't know whichever one you use and uh, if you're on YouTube please subscribe share, comment like, when all those things Because if you're benefiting from my squeaky voice, then maybe other people can also benefit from my weird zombie-like brain. So I hope you're well. You know, I was thinking about what should I whisper about today and you know I've, I've had a, a heck of a lot of uh, issues myself with worrying I've, I seem to have been born a born warrior not warrior but warrior and I don't think it's been of any use to me at all it's good to have a degree of concern and interest and keeping your uh, business in order and you know paying the bills and all that stuff but excessive worry is another huge thing that gets in the way of sleeping and if it doesn't get in the way of you falling asleep you might be dreaming about that stuff which means I just seem to be crappy to be honest if you're thinking about something when you're awake and it's bothering you then at least when you go to sleep you should have some reprieve on that some kind of release and have some nice dreams I think you deserve it. I think I deserve that. To have some nice dreams. I can't control what you dream about. Well, I suppose I could do hypnosis and do some of that stuff, you know. Um, but someone said to me once, they said, are oh, you going to come along to my course? I'm doing a course in... Um, 
what do they call that dreaming uh, and it's, it's where you control your dreams uh, I forget the name of it and I said what control my dreams I said I spend too much time trying to control my waking life why would I want to control my dreams that's a time to relax so is waking time as well but when you're asleep that, that's a time to let go and what's it called Sep not septic dreaming although that's a very different it's a good title and I have had that and I, prob I imagine maybe all of us have where I've, I've been asleep, I've woke, you know, and I'm still asleep, and I'm aware that I'm asleep, and I'm able to maneuver myself. I suppose it's a bit like being inside a video game where you can walk forward, walk left, walk right, um, fly, and you know, I've had times when I could fly it. And it was so vivid that I was moving around a flower. I was moving around it, moving up and down, and uh, it was it was great. But in reality, don't we? The dreams we can't kind of control in them anyway. dream that I'm in I'm perhaps not controlling what's going on outside but I'm controlling what I'm doing in the dream it's just human nature to want to control stuff so I think the point of this for me is to let go of control about worrying and 
I said to this person who was damaging their hand, turning the tap off before they're leaving their home, I said, okay, so your your whole life, and when, you, when he was out the home, he was thinking about it the whole time. I said, what's the worst that can happen? The tap drips. If you've turned the tap all the way off, I mean, chances are you more likely break the thing, but if you do that, the, the worst it's going to do is drip. And you can't get flooded by a drip unless he plugs up certain holes and leaves the place for like three years. It might overflow. But the worst can happen is it floods. And I said, so what? It floods. It's not nice, but it's not. It's just a, a flooded bathroom. It's an overflow bath. That's it. Is that really worth worrying about all day long, every day? Is that worth the suffering? You'd be better off by just flooding the bathroom purposely. And then it's done. Anyway, I'm not advising flooding your bathroom. I am advising letting go of worry letting go of worry because worry is what gets in the way of a lot of people getting to sleep it has done with me I guarantee it has done with you at times maybe not recently an underlying worry there. It's even like planning for the future. Worrying about what's going to happen tomorrow. Worrying about what's going to happen in five minutes. Worrying. Get this. We worry. I worry sometimes about the past. I worry about something no way of changing and that's ridiculous it's just silly it's just really really it's kind of funny really in a way you know it's basically the past is gone and providing everything's just Okay, you're just gonna move on to the future. The same as providing everything's okay with your stomach, with your body, food is gonna turn into poo and you're gonna flush it away and the past will be in the sewage somewhere, flushed down the toilet. I can honestly say I've never ever thought about that banana that I had in 1997. I oh, know, I ate it, booed it out, flushed it away, not gave it a second thought. So maybe we need to do that a bit more with other stuff. that's 
just got a new job to look after my brain and this micromanager wants to impress his boss so it's really like watching every single thing and picking me up on every single thing that I do every possible mistake including anything that might happen it's like a micromanagement of the future causing all this worry about what possibly could happen and the fact is the future is infinite the possibilities of the future for you, for me, for all of us individually the possibilities are endless more than each individual piece of sand in the world with like billions and billions of options as George Michael said turn a different corner and we never would have met and I always remember that that line from that song I think it was Careless Whisper because it's so true just one different movement you know deciding to maybe you need to go to the toilet I don't want to concentrate on the toilet today but maybe you think oh I'll get an ice cream and you go turn right rather than turn left and you go and get an ice cream and you spill ice cream on your top so you go into a shop and you buy a new top and there was nothing in there that you wanted or that there was your size you, you go into a second hand shop and you buy a top and it's some rock band that you don't even never heard of before but it's the second hand top it's the only one that fits you you put it on and you go to walk to get the bus and somebody stops you and says wow I love your t-shirt and then something happens from there and you know it changes the course of your life for the better so let go of worrying I mean there are some techniques you can do before going to sleep you write down on a piece of paper the things that are on your mind so you can just not think about them things that you need to do tomorrow so you don't have to think about them but that, that could be useful I can tell you so though I've never once uh, needed to be reminded of anything <laughs> so if I had to a job interview tomorrow I'll wake up and I'll remember it I don't have to look at a piece of paper but that's not really the point it's about the the ritual of writing on a piece of paper and just letting it go there's a lot of these kind of rituals with uh, physical stuff where perhaps you write something on a piece of paper it's a good thing to do when there's a bonfire yeah, it's safe you know safe place where there's a bonfire other people around safe safety first of course and you can write something from the past or make a declar declaration about something that you're intending to do and you can just chop it, chuck it onto the fire a bonfire it's kind of ceremonial but 
something about seeing it burn, disappear, disintegrate into something much bigger. This little flame compared to the massive fire that's in the bonfire in the garden or wherever it might be in a park. different ways to prepare different ways to let go I know that a lot of people just listen just listen to me and that's enough I could just be talking about my favourite breakfast cereal and that can be relaxing which is good you know that's cool <sighs> but uh, now and then it's good to maybe add a little bit more and letting go of worrying isn't just about sleeping easier letting go of worrying is it's about feeling happier within yourself really is it's about peacefulness it's about realising the fact the honest fact that you deserve to be happy and no matter what's happened in the past it's the past you can change your life every day you, every day is a new day it's a new start and you can be the you that you wish to be you can allow yourself to be the kind loving so that you can let go of worry and sleep. 